Welcome to the day that NBA legends recall the time LeBron James became the greatest player of his generation and arguably saved his legacy with this one NBA game. This is the time that LeBron James dominated the Boston Celtics and it's brought to you by NBA legends who were involved on this day. So if you do enjoy videos just like this one, I'd really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. These videos do take a long time to edit and piece up all together. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, if you enjoy videos just like this one. Full credit to all the content, podcasts, interviews, and clips used in this video. They are on the screen right now. And if you do want to check them out, they're in the description. So you watch them in their entireties. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So here's to NBA legends recalling the day LeBron James became the greatest player of his era. 2012, <laughs> yes. Yes. Derrick Rose gets hurt. Wow. Philly, Boston, all of a sudden seems like, oh, whoever gets mm -hmm. out of this, mm -hmm. Miami, who knows? Miami hasn't won the title yet. So let's get through Philly. Who's going to Going to the Miami series, 2-2 at Miami game five. Right. Celts win in Miami. Defense! 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 Pierce for three. It's good. Paul Pierce from way downtown. And Boston leads by four. 2-2 Two -two at Miami game five. Right. Celts win in Miami. And they're talking all kinds of shit to LeBron. Uh, all kinds of shit that whole game. Correct or incorrect? Uh, You're trying to get in his head. You feel like you can break LeBron at this point? Uh, we broke LeBron. In game five. So get your ass out of here with that, all right? <laughs> You're not beating Boston in Boston on Thursday. Now, I can't see it. Legacies are at stake. Is this the end of the big three? This could be it. I'm not picking them to win Thursday night. I'm not doing it. I don't think he'd have a chance. LeBron James, is this my camera? I love watching you play. You are the best basketball player in the world. It's time for you to do your thing. So, hey, guys, get on my back. We're going to win game six, and we're going to win game seven. I went to Boston that night for that game because I said, if he don't show up tonight, yeah, man, you can't understand the urgency of this moment right here, right now. You think you're going to learn once you go back to Boston Thursday night? This is Boston. These are the Boston Celtics. Right. They were down 3-2 and on the verge on a break yeah. of elimination. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't win this after losing that final series to Dallas. I mean, this is one of the epic collapses oh, yeah. we yeah. will have seen and his legacy will never hey, and be honest ever be honest yeah. you were doubting that he was going to be able to pull off what Hell he did yeah. so was, was i oh no 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 as far as i'm concerned they're on the break of elimination right now they got to win tonight miami heat with their backs to the wall us against the world mentality what was my mentality going into game six of the eastern conference finals against the celtics or at game six if we lose pat riley may break us all up and i don't want that it might be the quickest breakup in basketball history Listen, the bandwagon of the Miami Heat is empty. You know who's going to get the blame already. In basketball, there are fans that you go play away that they can literally take the game from you. You can feel like them. The fans is not going to let us win this one tonight. Yes, I mean, I mean. What places? I mean, Boston. Boston, yeah. Why, why, do, you, why do you hate Boston? Because <laughs> they racist as fuck. That's yeah, why. Not. I got close to Braun, man, because so many people had so much hate in their heart for Braun, man. I remember we was out in a restaurant one time, man. We eating as a team. And somebody walked by and was like, LeBron James, and he turned and looked. And he, they was like, fuck you. They will say they will say anything, and it's fine. I mean, fuck, it's my life. I mean, I've been dealing with it my whole life. I don't mind it. Like, I hear it. Like, if I hear somebody, like, close by, I check them real quick. I move on to the game, whatever the fuck. For me, that made me want, and that, that, this motherfucker ain't even know Brian. Brian ain't said none of this man, ain't bothering this man. That made me want to be closer to Brian. That, that made me say, man, I see what this man go through every day. And I'm a every damn sure have it. And I'm a damn sure have his back. They're going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. They might throw something on you. I mean, I got a beer thrown on me leaving the game. You know, like, Boston is, I mean, yeah, Boston it's is. the only place in the NBA in America you go yeah. and they have, like, shirts that say, like, fuck LeBron. Yeah, like, it was like, all it was like a, it was like it was like a like... fuck LBJ t-shirt. <laughs> I believe they probably sold it at the fucking team they, shop. No, they sold it outside the arena. No, they, <laughs> they sold it at the team shop. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, had something to do with that shit. No matter what, through hell or hot water, he could call on me. Because that's the bullshit he got to deal with every day. Nobody don't deserve that. You don't even know this man. Right. You better than me, bro, because I'd have Bobby Boucher had his somebody. ass. LeBron James took his talents to Boston Thursday. <laughs> but was it enough to force a Game 7 in Miami Saturday? Now, it's not hyperbole to say the immediate future of the Miami Heat franchise was riding on the outcome of Game 6. 
And whenever there are stakes like that for the Heat, that means most of the responsibility falls on LeBron James. My legacy going to take a huge, huge hit if I don't go out here and perform at an all-time high. Win, lose, or draw, I had to be focused. I had to lock in and lead us to victory. Didn't know if it was going to happen that way, but that was my mindset. And I got a chance to see him at what we think is his best LeBron in 2012. We feel like that was the best LeBron that we've seen, right? And it was at times where maybe everybody on the outside or even inside, you were frustrated because you were like, Bron, just do, just, just do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 just, yeah. Just take a guy to the block. Around Pierce, all the way to the rim, and a tomahawk right hand slam. Woo! If you had D-Wade, Chris Bosh, and LeBron over in this corner, you had me, T.A., I'm just making these names up, maybe yeah. Paul and Rondo right here. Yeah. It'll be, the, it'll be a what's up, and it'll be cool and respect, but it won't be any, like, fraternizing. It ain't going to really? be like, yo, out of family. It won't be none wow. of that. No, it's real. We do, they don't fuck with us. forever, huh? We don't fuck with them. That shit still lasts today. It's still out like there. <laughs> it's still in the air, dog. It is, man. I, need, I, tell, I don't know if that shit ever going to be over. I got respect for them. But that shit's still out there. But it's cool though. It's it's yeah. a mutual understanding in I which love this. we have respect for each other. But it won't be like when I did the interview with D Wade. That was me having to interview D Wade. Y'all was the sole reasons that we got together. We can't compete with Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Ray Allen and Rondo. We got to get that toughness. We got to get that togetherness. If we don't get that, we don't beat them. Right. When we met y'all in the playoffs, we feel like we prepared and we ready. That was serious, man. That was battles. It was a chess game now. I just wish we was a little younger. <laughs> That's all. Do you think you pushed LeBron too far in game five? Because game too six, far? he was unbelievable. You think you <laughs> gave him the eye of the tiger? I pushed him too far? <laughs> Nothing? Man, listen, let me say something to you. The C's, we didn't give a fuck about LeBron. We didn't fear LeBron, and we didn't think that he can beat all five of us. And that's how I felt. But they pushed us like no other. And I'm gonna give them credit to that, man. They pushed us like no other, man. Yes, definitely. We was we was scared of Boston. Not scared like shaking in our boots, but we was we were threatened. Boston was a threat. Boston was a threat. They were a th I don't give a damn what you did defensively come out of timeout. Dark Rivers was gonna get somebody a shot. Yeah, yeah. Boston was a threat, bruh. He wasn't going to Miami to be like Cleveland. Right. That game I had in Boston, game six. Down 3-2, you wish you can tap into that shit more often. Mm -hmm. Just when it happens, you have no idea what the mm -hmm. fuck's going on. And you find new stuff. Yeah, you like, new shit. you're just trying shit that you never even tried before. Yeah, yeah. Like silly shit. I played in Boston so many times. The history speaks for itself. But for this one time when I went to Boston for this game six, I felt absolutely nothing. James around Pierce all the way to the rim and a tomahawk right hand slam. Woo! We got to a point where I was just out there trying shit, one leg off the wrong foot. Shot clock down to three. Difficult shot from James. Gets it to go. <laughs> bump fades off, off my right shoulder. I am not even a right shoulder bump fade guy. He's got 12 already. James Spence trying to draw some contact. What a great start for LeBron James. Six of seven. When do you know you're in the zone while you're in it? Like, at what point? I mean, I mean, I think I, I was, I started the game like eight for eight. His expression has not changed from the minute he came out of the locker room tonight for game six. He is knocking down everything. He's eight for nine from the field, but we still have just under nine to play in the second. And, and every time I was shooting, it, it just felt so perfect. And, and it was barely touching the net. Like going straight through like a like a bird, just go straight through the water. Pew. Pew. It's absolutely fearless tonight. We've been through a lot in the last two years. We've all learned how to compartmentalize and quiet all the noise out and just focus. I don't think he really felt all the noise from outside. You're not beating Boston in Boston on Thursday. Now I can't see it. Out on the wing, posting up. Pierce turns inside, that jump shot, nothing but dead. Oh, he has put Paul Pierce in jail right now. Oh, my goodness. 20 points on 9 of 10 shooting, he is feeling it. This shit right here, are we talking about shot making? Are we talking about skill? James has 30 in the half. 12 of 13. This is an unbelievable performance. LeBron James. 
I'm just keeping it 100, man. This ain't got nothing, nothing. I ain't got no emotion, no nothing, nothing. This is just spade to spade. These are all facts. a lot of people debating, like, talking about him because we look at LeBron as a great all-around player, but is he the greatest scorer ever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the number six. The fuck? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> technically and I mean, literally. He, I mean, technically, not. literally. <laughs> Here's turns inside that jump shot. Nothing but net. LeBron James with the world watching and the weight on his shoulders coming out strong. Once you have that, like, are you constantly chasing it? Is it something oh, yeah, it's a drug. you're striving for? Definitely a drug. You, you wish that never, ever, you wish the night never ends. Make sure you handle the pressure with your season on the line. Well, there's nothing to handle. I mean, uh, for us, it's win or go home. So, you know, I, I plan on playing the whole second half. He was on another planet. He pulls up for a three and hits it. And it got to the point where we were just kind of, I'm a pretty good basketball player, but I'm kind of just watching him do his thing right now because he's just, I don't know what the hell is going on. Bro, I've never seen this before. What a performance so far for LeBron James. James at the top against Garnett. LeBron James jumper good from out front right over Kevin Garnett. I don't know where he is, but mentally, I mean, he was like shooting 60%. With the heat on his shoulders, puts it on the left hand and backs it in. He's got 45. I mean, he wasn't missing. He mean, made it easy then. It's all right, cool. I'll be here on defense getting some stops. I'll be open whenever you guys need me. It, it just became, yeah, it became, he, 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 was, he was very, very motivated to be successful. What a performance here by one Mr. LeBron James. One of the greatest performances we've ever seen. Back to Miami. Game seven, do or die to play her championship against the Oklahoma City Thunder. LeBron, no player has to play under the kind of scrutiny and pressure that you do. What is it like knowing that regardless of what happens with the team, the failure rests on your shoulders? Well, uh, you know, I just go out and just do what I've been taught, and that's to play at a high level and have fun with it. And at the end of the day, um, I won't regret anything. If I know I played hard and I gave it my all, I won't regret anything, no matter the outcome. We had to win this game. We wanted to win this game. But the series, it's a one-game series now, and it's in our building, so we look forward to the challenge. Congratulations. It's a pleasure tonight. I hope now you guys can stop talking about LeBron and playing big games. He's pretty good tonight. So now that's the bed. He always shows up. He's had some of the biggest clutch games in NBA history. It's incredible. What coaches do is they see what you do. You know, and we we defended LeBron well, you know, for a while. The Miami LeBron was a student of the game. He was prepared. Uh, he had learned the other way you don't win. This way you win. I mean, uh, I remember the distinct moment sitting next to Thibodeau, and we call a play, and he's calling out our actions. Uh, 21 down, they're going over here. This is LeBron in the Miami. In Cleveland, he didn't know what we were writing. Didn't study it. And it was amazing. I, it, it was a sad and proud moment at the same time. Sad because I was thinking, this is not good for us. Uh, proud uh, that I was thinking, He's become a student. Uh, he's learned that, you know, it takes more than just ability uh, to win. And you knew it was coming. You knew he was going to start winning. Can you do this again in a game seven? <laughs> and will you have to? I'm going to go out there and play uh, my game. I'm going to play as hard as I can. And, um, if two guys come to me, or three guys come to me, uh, I'm very good at math. I mean, someone is open. You know, and I believe in my teammates, and they're going to knock that shot down. So, looking forward to game seven. See y'all Miami. One of the best I've seen, one of the best this league has ever seen. And, you know, he, um, he's helped us a lot so we can live to play another day. He's played amazing. Um, you know, he was locked in. 
from the beginning of the game um, like I've never seen him before. You know, he really put on the MVP performance tonight. He came out with a, an attack mentality right from the get-go, and, and that just pumped up the entire team up with uh, a tremendous amount of confidence. You know, sometimes superstars get hot. It was a matter of too much LeBron. He was absolutely sensational. The level of dominance from LeBron yes. James that night. I'll never forget I'll that. I'll never forget yeah. it. And it that's why I bring it up, because he had to have every one of those. And he gave him 45 on a night when he calls himself the man for yes. He was on a different yeah. level as a scorer. Yep. Yeah. Down three to that. going on the yeah, road I to Boston. There. That was a big moment. I was able to win a championship that year. That was the result of feeling nothing. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button. These videos do take a long time to make, so I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you are new, and here are two new videos I think that you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.